Hi, this is JP from No The Lights Over Arkham. Uh, welcome to the first episode, uh, gameplay episode of the Return to the Circle Undone campaign, uh, which I will be playing through with uh, Wendy Adams. Uh, I already did the deck building episode and we already determined the pre good uh, or the prologue scenario result with the tarot cards and did the reading for the whole campaign using the suggested cards for the Circle Undone campaign. So that is why we have the uh, Temperance uh, reversed here. So uh, that means when the Anam starts with this scenario with one less sanity, so we only have six sanity, and that is that. Uh, I won't go into detail uh, on the deck, so if you're interested in seeing the deck, uh, there is a link to the deck list in the video description, but also you can check out the uh, deck building episode which came out before this episode and I will post a link to that episode to the upper right corner of this video right here. So, uh, that is basically it. We have set up the scenario. Uh, for this set scenario setup, we set up five uh, witch hunt locations. We haven't yet decided which location we start from. Uh, we also added two um, tablets into the bag because we accepted our fate. It's resulted in the tarot reading. So there, there is that. So we don't add those uh, weaknesses that usually get added when you're accepting your fate or, or the Ace of Rods card into your deck. And uh, I think that is uh, mostly everything we need to talk about before we start, so let's get started. Okay, and uh, we are ready to start. Uh, before I draw anything, I'll choose the location we start from. I haven't uh, looked at these cards, so I'll just pick one at random and we'll go here. So we start from the Witch Hunted Woods, the Lonely Tree location, it's a two shroud location with one clue. Uh, you cannot investigate this location while you have between three and five cards in hand. Okay, well, that is a bit troublesome. We'll see what we can do about that. It's an easy location to investigate, but we need to get uh, rid of cards or get more cards. And uh, let's draw our opening hand. One, two, three, four. Five. Uh, we get uh, Professor William Webb, leather coat. Uh, let's reach all that. Another professor, scout ahead and track shoes. So I'm keeping these two. Uh, uh, I think I keep those three. Mulligan those two. We get uh, that is a weakness. We already shuffled that also. Okay, so. I think the plan here is, uh, we will draw a card, investigate and play something. And next turn we play more and uh, start moving. So let's uh, reshuffle the deck after the mulligan. So, uh, first action we will draw a card, so we are not. We don't have three to five cards in hand. We get a lucky. Second action, we will investigate. Oh yeah, I also need some resources, so just a moment. Second action, investigate, and uh, we are investigating three versus one. I am not committing anything to the test. Uh, actually, I'm thinking if I should play the uh old key ring draw another card no well that, that takes us, us too too many actions so we're just investigating so three versus two it's an elder sign it is a zero so that is enough we grab this clue last action uh, let's play professor william webb And uh, that is our turn. No enemies. We'll go to upkeep. We draw another card. Post in bargain. And we gain a resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. 
we add a Doom to the agenda, one of eight. The first encounter card is... It's a new uh, Treachery Trespasser. It's a Curse Revelation test, Willpower 2. This test gets plus one difficulty for each non weakness Treachery in your threat area. If you fail, take two damage or two horror. I think we are just testing this uh, 4 versus 2. If we get really unlucky, we have Lucky in hand. It is a plus one, so we'll pass it and nothing happens. First action, I think uh, we need resources to play all of this uh, stuff from our hand. So I'll play the Fortian Bargain. We'll get five resources. And we'll add two curse tokens into the Chaos Bag. Maybe a stupid decision, but it is what it is. Second action, we'll play Track Shoes. I'll just place the Track Shoes. Oh, I'll put it over here, because we don't have any arcane slots. I'll just use those. Uh, last action, uh, let's play the Old Key Ring. Why not? I had three, five, uh, I think I paid one, two, three. Okay, so th I think that is everything. So that was a quick turn just setting up. So uh, no enemies will go to upkeep. We draw a card, unexpected courage, and gain one resource. So uh, that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we add another do. Encounter card for this turn is uh, Dissonant Voices. You cannot play assets or events at the end of the turn, discard Dissonant Voices. That is okay because we already did a setup turn last turn. Uh, first action, I think we'll just move over here. And a reminder all of these are connected to each other, so they actually form a, a grid that they're all connected, so we can move from anywhere to anywhere. So I'll just go here. And we find a uh, Tainted Well. Investigators at the Witch Hunted Woods location can commit one card to each skill test performed at this location and vice versa. Well, uh, nothing really helpful. Uh, one word about the tactic of this scenario. Um, if you have played this, it is usually a good idea to get all of the possible clues before even advancing the first act. You can rapid advance the acts uh, after you have a bunch of so that is a good tactic, so you uh, can speed up the uh, game to the end before you get overwhelmed. Mm. <clears throat> Second action, I think we are using the old key ring. So, minus two shroud, we are investigating uh, three versus one, not committing anything. It is a zero, so we lose one uh, from here. We'll get the clue. Last action, we'll move again. Let's move over here. And it is... Uh, which hundred woods? The Cairn Stones. So, after any number of clues are discovered from this location, each investigator at this location loses an equal number of resources. So, that is not the big deal. I think we are good resources, but uh, I would like to try and use the track shoes so that we can uh, uncover more locations. So I'm using the track shoes to try to move again. Uh, I'm testing uh, 5 versus 3. It is a skull, and skull is minus 1 for each point you fail by this card. Yeah, well, we didn't. So I'll just move over here to uncover this one. And this is one of the newer ones, uh, which one that was unmarked graveyard. It's a one shard location with two clues forced. Uh, when you discover the last clue from this location, draw the topmost hex treachery in the encounter discard pile. If you cannot, instead discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until a hex treachery is discarded and draw it. And it is a victory one point location, and these are also so. I think we. Uh, we are pretty 
well set to get these clues uh, later. Well, at the end of the turn, this goes away. Uh, no enemies will go to upkeep. Uh, we draw Lone Wolf. We gain one resource. That is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, this is also ready, so let's add another Doom, 3 of 8, uh, Encounter card for this turn is uh, Malignant, uh, malignant uh, so a new threat cherry uh, re revelation, put Malignant into play in your threat area, increase the cost of each card in play by 1, uh, test will power 3, if you succeed discard Malignant, uh, if there is an exhausted witch enemy at your location, this test automatically succeed. Okay, well... Mm, each card you play, so it affects also events. So, I think... Mm, we'll just investigate here. We don't want to play anything this turn. And we have plenty of resources, so uh, investigating the 3 versus 1, not using the old key ring at this point. It is a 0. Second action, we'll investigate again. Uh, 3 versus 1. Elder sign, uh, it's a 0, so we'll grab another clue. And then uh, we have to see the top uh, uh, hex. We don't have any hexes, so we discard until we hit a hex. This is an omen, a curse, terror, a witch. It is a hex, so we'll get uh, despoiled. Put despoiled into your into play in your threat area. After you successfully succeed at a skill test during your turn, increase the difficulty of each subsequent test you perform this turn by one. There's will power 3, if you succeed, discard is spoiled. If there is an exhaust witch at enemy at the location, then test automatically succeeds. So I think last action will start trying to get rid of these. So I think this is more nasty, so I'm actually committing the unexpected courage to this test to get rid of the despoiled. And uh, we are testing 6 versus 3. It is uh, minus one. We succeed. This gets discarded. And this goes away. No enemies will go to upkeep. We draw a card. Another leather coat. Gain one resource. That is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. One thing I forgot is that uh, Professor William Webb has the secrets. Uh, we ha haven't used him yet, so that is okay. Okay, so we add a Doom, 4 of 8, encounter card for this turn is, it is a Coven Initiate. Discard the top two cards of the encounter deck. If this effect causes the encounter deck to run out of cards, draw the top text card in your encounter discard file. So this uh, enemy engages us. I think we are just evading and uh, then getting rid of that one and moving on. So we discard two cards, so Trespasser and Vice and Villainy. First action will evade this uh, enemy, so 5 versus 2. It is a minus 1, so this enemy is evaded. Second action will just get rid of this as a free uh, auto success action. Last action, let's move uh, over here. So, uh, Witch Hunter puts Overgrown Barn. 3 Shroud, 1 Clue. When an enemy would spawn at the, a different Witch Hunter would spawn it at this location instead, then it makes an immediate att attack against the, each investigator at this location. So we really don't want to stay here uh, for that long. So I'm actually using the track shoes to move away from here. So testing Y5 versus 3. Uh, we are at 3 versus 3. Uh, minus 1. 
Uh, I think we are kind of failing this. Or, uh, we have to discard one card from here. That is okay. So that is the investigation phase, enemy phase, nothing happens, upkeep, this card ready, the fractures ready, uh, we draw a card, on a third unexpected courage, and we gain one resource. So that is that turn, let's go to the next turn. Uh, we have 5 of 8 doom, encounter cards for this turn is uh, unhallowed land, test ability 5, for each point you fail by, discard the top card of the encounter. Counter deck. If a curse treachery is discarded by this effect, deal one direct horror to your investigator and to each of your ally assets. We are testing uh, five, five versus five, and uh, I think we don't need the lone wolf, so six versus five. It is another curse, so we get the other curse out of the back, but we are down by one. It's a plus one, so we barely succeed. That is really good. So, no curses in the back anymore. Uh, first action will uh, investigate here. Uh, I am investigating uh, three versus three. Not committing anything to the test. Uh, it is a skull, so minus one. Uh, I will play lucky. So we succeed and grab the clue. Second action, let's move over here. And last action, investigate. I'm using the old key ring. It is a zero, so the old key ring is discarded and we grab one clue. That is okay. We have a uh, Professor William Webb that we can use to get items back from our discard. No enemy actions will go to upkeep. We draw a card. Another lone wolf. We gain one resource. Oh yeah, and we lost one resource because we grabbed a clue. But yeah, that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add another Doom. Uh, we are at the uh, 6 of 8 Doom encounter card for this turn is uh, Trespasser Willpower 2. This te test gets uh, plus 1 difficulty for each non threat area in your threat area. If you fail, take 2 damage or 2 horror. Uh, 4 versus 2, not committing anything. Minus 1, we are good. Uh, we'll uh, investigate. I I think I will commit the unexpected courage. Let's see. Yeah, we'll use the professor later. So, uh, investigating 5 versus 3. 0, we'll grab a clue, we lose one resource. Uh, let's check. Uh, at the end of the round, we can start uh, advancing. Okay. So, uh, investigate. Let's move uh, over here and investigate and try to get a, uh, try to get the. Uh, we can't investigate here, unfortunately. Let's just move over. Over here. Investigating 3 versus 3. If we succeed, we can grab the item assets from our discard. Elder sign. Well, we are blessed with the elder signs today, so I'm using one of the secrets to get the old key ring. Uh, we'll get it into our hand. So that is our uh, investigation phase, enemy phase, nothing happens, upkeep, we draw a card, uh, a test of will, gain one resource, then uh, at the end of the round we'll spend two clues, we'll advance, each investigator must randomly choose one of the set aside Arkham Box locations, put it into play in front of him or her, and immediately move to that location, cannot be cancelled. Each investigator spawns a set aside code spawn at his or her location. It 
uh, well, then each investigator test uh, willpower or agility tree each investigator succeeds, exhaust that enemy and disengages from it. Shuffle one of the set aside copies of Devonic Piping into the encounter deck, place the other two copies into the encounter discard pile. So, just a moment, there is a lot to do here. First off, uh, we'll shuffle the Arkham Woods locations. There are a couple of new ones from uh, the Return to Set. There are also all of the Return to the Night of the Seal versions here. So, there are a bunch of different choices. The only thing is that the uh, one, uh, the Calm Glade location was removed because it has zero clues. So, we'll pick this one and see what we get. Uh, we get Arkham, Wo Arkham Woods Lakeside. It is a two shroud location, one clue. After you reveal a chaos token from the chaos pack while investigating this location, re reveal and resolve an additional chaos token once per test. Uh, that is annoying, and uh, this is connected to all of these. One clue here. And uh, we get a goat spawn. Uh, we'll test uh, agility 5 versus 3. It is an auto fail, but we'll discard a card. I think we'll discard Lone Wolf. Try again. It is a plus one. So we succeed. This guy is exhausted. We don't have to worry about it in a in a in a while. <clears throat> then uh, we'll Add uh, these two into the discard. This goes into the encounter deck. And I think that is all we have to do right now. And that is that. So, yeah, uh, this is was exhausted ready. So I think that is everything. So um, that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we are at 7 of 8 Doom. And counter card for this turn is Frozen in Fear. I think I will try to test of will this. So um, I am testing uh, 4 versus 3 to cancel this one so it doesn't come into play. Uh, let's see what we get. Elder sign. So uh, we pay for one for this one. And we cancel the treachery. That was really good. So that was the mythos phase. Uh, we'll play for keyring again. We'll investigate. Uh, three versus zero. Minus one, we succeed, grab a clue. Uh, last action, we'll move uh, over. Let's move over here. Doesn't really matter. Uh, this is connected to all of these. These are connected to each other. And uh, at this point, uh, we'll spend a request number of clues to advance. Now, for the remainder of the scenario, investigators may. No, may now enter a location in front of other investigators, it doesn't really matter. Then uh, paths into twilight location in front of you are connected to one another. We'll advance this one into three. And uh, then uh, we have a new uh, act four, so these both are in play actually at the same time, so I'm placing them uh, so, the new one reads, Objective, perhaps we can learn more from them. If there are more than one per investigator exhausted witch enemies at the witch's circle, investigators at the witch's circle may spend the required number of clues as a group to advance. So, the witch's circle comes into play. Uh, just move this over here, like so. 
So there is like three tiers of uh, locations here. Uh, there is uh, this, which is connected to all of these. Uh, these are connected to each other, and these all are connected to the Witcher Circle. And uh, okay, so yeah, the revelation was on the location. Just a moment, so the Witcher Circle, a uh, tree shroud, and three clues. Revelation put the Witcher Circle in play in the center of the play area in front of none of the investigators. The lead investigator spawned a set aside Anet Mason at the Witcher Circle. Paused after the enemy phase begins, move each ready, unengage each enemy once towards the Witcher Circle. So, what this means is that this uh, witch activates and moves here, and it Mason is already here. And what we need to do to uh, activate the new uh, agenda or act uh, is to evade Annette and evade the Coven initiates. Then we can uh, spend these two clues to advance, and that is it. So, uh, let's see. Uh, beginning of the enemy phase. Let's see. Of course, we have to see this one. So there are all. So the if an animation is defeated, advance. If there are no clues on the witch circle, advance. So we have two choice, uh, three choices actually now to how to win that scenario. But we'll see what we can do. I think we are trying to wait. Step. But yeah, uh, enemy phase, so this uh, enemy moves here, upkeep, nothing else happens while this uh, enemy readies, uh, we'll draw a card, lock picks, we gain one resource, that is that turn, let's go to the next turn. We are at 8 of 8 doom, so uh, the agenda unfortunately gets to advance at least once. Uh, discard all but the last five cards of the encounter deck. The investigator with the most cards in his or her uh, play area must draw the topmost witch enemy in the encounter discard pile. Well, that uh, throws a bit of a wrench in our system. So, two, three, four, uh, let's say one, two, three, four, five cards. This gets discarded. And we'll get the topmost uh, witch enemy, which is the priestess of the coven. That is really nasty. So uh, the Priestess of the Coven gets plus one fight and plus one evade for each witch enemy in the encounter discard pile to a maximum of three fight and three evade. So let's see. There are one witch here. So that is that spawns on us. There. So it is uh, uh, three evade and three health and three fight minion. We could um, backstep, uh, evade, backstep, and uh, move in and uh, then try to win next turn. I think that sounds like a good idea. Uh, encounter card. It is impeding evils. Revelation, you must either take one damage and or, or put impeding evils in the play next to the agenda deck and it gains search. There are three copies of impeding evils next to the agenda deck. Discard the and advance the current agenda. Uh, I think we might just take the... We'll take the damage and horror at this point. So, Professor William Webb takes one horror. That is that. Uh, next, we'll evade. I am evading uh, five versus three. Minus one, so uh, we evade this enemy. Second action, we'll use the backstep. Uh, we'll use agility instead of uh, combat. So, 5 versus 3. Uh, 
It is uh, minus one. We succeed and we deal three damage, so the priestess of the coven is defeated. Last action, we'll just move into the. It's a circle, so both of these engage me. Uh, enemy face, this enemy hunts here. Uh, he, uh, oh, yeah, this hit, so we'll take two or one damage. That is still okay. Upkeep, we draw a card, uh, breaking and entering, and we gain one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we add a Doom. Oh yeah. Um, at the end of the round, place one Doom on the agenda for each which enemy in the witch circle. So we forgot to do that last turn, so I'll just add them now. There are two here, so we are at 3 of 12. Encounter cards for this turn is... Rotting Remains. Test the uh, ill power of 3. For each point you fail by take one horror. We don't have anything to boost this with, so we'll just test. It is a minus one, so we succeed, so nothing happens. So that is good. First action, we will evade Annette. And Annette doesn't have alert, so that is good. We'll commit uh, breaking and entering to the test. Uh, we are evading uh, six versus four. Minus one, a net is evaded. Second action, he'll evade the coven initiate. It is a minus one, it is a tablet. If you fail after this test, the result throw the bottom of pressure in the front of this profile. Well, it doesn't. So, there are two witches evaded. So, we can spend these two clues to. Resolve this to advance a circle forge. Uh, this is a new card, so I'll actually read the plus text. The hooded figures stand down, and once they realize you are not fighting them or working to disturb their ritual, they are not the ones from before. The interlopers who, in who interfered with our ritual, one of them says, pulling off their hood reveals striking red hair that glows in the firelight. Embers dance around her fingers. Are you of the same mind as us? Then she asks. No, Erin. The leader of the coven answers uh, for you. They are lost. She studies you with harsh eyes. How came you here? You explain how you awoke in the woods, how you were attacked by terrible creatures, and how you came uh, to the center of this circle to discover the truth behind your ordeal. Annette, I think someone delivered them here. The red-haired witch named Erin whispers, mystified. We should finish here while the circle remains closed. There may be others in these woods. Come, sisters, let us continue our work, Annette says. Resolution 5. So, uh, the resolution 5 is an addition to the other resolutions, and it is in this uh, uh, circle under booklet. Uh, you watch as Annette, the leader of the coven, assembles uh, her priestess once more around the fire. Together, they complete their last rites of their spell. The chill winds become flurry, and their chanting echoes throughout the woods. With their spell complete, a dark gale snuffs all out the fire at the center of the clearing. Shadows from behind the tree line suddenly twist and coil around the witches, hugging at the edges of their clothes. One by one, the shadows twist and pull each of them into the darkness beyond, all except for one. The witch named Erin lingers for a moment, peering into your eyes as though to discern your intent. You are true. Meet me where our ancestors lie buried. There we can talk. Then she is gone. You are left with only the so uh, soft glow of moonlight to guide you. In your camp log, record the witch's spell was cast. In your camp log, record Erin was wants to meet. In your camp log, under mementos discovered, record mesmerizing flute and strange incantation. 
Each investigator earns three bonus experience as they gain insight into the Arkham's mysterious past. Each investigator earns experience equal to the victory X value of each card in the victory display. So we get uh, three bonus experience and uh, one, two, three, four, five. That is a total of eight experience from the first scenario, which is a pretty good uh, result in my opinion. So that was the return to the circle and done with Wendy Adams. Uh, I will upgrade my deck with the eight experience and next up we have uh, the return to a dead doorstep play. So hope you guys like this playthrough. Thanks for watching and until next time.